Welcome back everybody, or welcome if you are new. Today I want to try out some of the lightning challenges since we're a few episodes into our career mode now. I wanted to run some of these lightning challenges. I know there's a bunch that are range between rookie, veteran, and legend. So I wanted to do one of each in the video, see how we could do. Uh, first one I believe is the Dale Jr. one, so let's get on to them. Okay guys, you knew this one was coming. In October of 2001, I won the first EA Sports 500 at Talladega. Talk about perfect, huh? The biggest gamer in racing wins the race sponsored by the biggest video game and computer game company in the world. Nice trophy, big check, and lots of free games. When the white flag flew, I was in the lead pack, but I wasn't in the lead. As we all came around on the final lap, I got my car out front just before a dozen or so cars got into each other behind me. Talk about a wild finish. Well, now it's your turn to try to become the EA Sports 500 champion. My buddies at EA Sports are going to reset the field just like it was when the white flag flew. You've got just one lap. And just like the real deal, you never know what's going to happen. Good luck. All right. The goal is to just win, I believe. So we have to go from fourth to first in a lap. This is going to be interesting. Oh, getting checked up by Matt Kenseth already. Stewart's out in the lead. I'm getting into Kenseth by accident. That's going to get us out the draft. Get back down here. Might be able to get a huge draft off these guys. We'll see how much of a draft we can get. Jeff Burton and Stewart up here side by side. We're getting a massive draft, but I don't have anywhere to go with it right now. Might be able to go middle. I don't know. I'm kind of too close to Jeff Burton. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the run. Try and jump low on him. Not going to be able to get it on the first attempt, unfortunately. This is the rookie one, so I would think it wouldn't be too hard to do. Attempt number two here. We'll see what we can do. Uh, looks like Kenseth is not going high on this one. I guess the uh, they're not programmed to do the same exact thing every single time, which is interesting. Because Kenseth was like high going into turn one last time, and we were able to jump under him before turn one. Now he's jumping down behind Jeff Burton, trying to move him back up slightly. Get the run from Jeff Burton. Can I take it low? Not quite, but might be able to get side by side with Stewart here. He's sliding up in front of Stewart, so I don't have any draft. I have the draft from behind me, that's it. Not gonna have the draft to get there. We're gonna finish third in this one, dang it. This one's gonna take a few attempts, I guess. Honestly, for the first two attempts, they weren't that bad of attempts, I feel like. They, they were pretty decent. Let's see if we could stay outside on this time. Maybe get Jeff Burton's draft on the outside. I'm not very good at holding the second leg lane. Dropping down for the back stretch. Get Jeff Burton's draft here. Oh, we have the draft early. No, Kenseth, no. Don't get in my way. We have a huge run right here. Able to get in front of them. All right, we just got to hold them off now. That was a huge draft down the back stretch. Now, who do I go with is the problem. Like, who do I block? Looks like Jeff Burton's got the most run. Just got a mirror drive. Nice and easy. We're going to get it on attempt number three. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Not too shabby. Not too shabby on that one. One down. Let's get two more. We got a veteran one and a legend one left. The lightning challenges also give us thunder plates. So I believe we got uh, the Richard Petty out of that. And we also got this Daytona road course, I want to say. I think we got both of these from that Talladega one that we just did. So let's get on to the second one. On a sunny October Monday, I got my first Winston Cup Series win at the 2001 Old Dominion 500 at Martinsville. What a day. The race was postponed from Sunday due to rain, and on Monday, everybody was treated to a nice sunny day and some typical Martinsville action. I was running third with less than 20 laps to go when the two leaders got together. Bobby Hamilton ended up in the wall after he and Kevin Harvick pumped. That took enough off of Harvick for me to dive to the bottom and take the lead as the yellow came up. But it wasn't over yet. By the final lap, I had Dale Jarrett all over me. We were bouncing off of each other all around that final lap, but at the line, I edged Jarrett by inches for the win. What a day. Now it's your turn. You're going to start side by side with Dale Jarrett and experience the final lap of the 2001 Old Dominion 500. And remember, 
Nobody cares how banged up your car is in the winter circle, as long as you're in the winter circle. All right, so we just got to run one lap at Martinsville. We're side by side for the lead. We're on the inside too, which is nice. We could probably just use up Dale Jarrett here. I haven't really ran Martinsville yet. We're overdriving it. And now we're not even like in the lead anymore. Okay, yeah, we're not winning it on the first try. So yeah, we really screwed that one up. I overdrove turn three on the first corner to uh, really mess that up. So we got to get our braking points down for this track for sure. So let's get on to attempt number two and try this over again. All right, let's not overdrive the very first corner here. I thought I was braking kind of early, so I'm gonna use that black mark on the wall. Really get on the brakes. Dale Jarrett's turning down into me. That was much better. Very, very good corner there. And now let's just not overdrive turn one. Okay, he drives really deep into that, but we can kind of use him up. We got Bobby Labonte behind us. Just got to watch out for him. Dale Jarrett's out in the wall. Oh, he's gonna hit that inside. No, he's not. Okay, can we hold these guys off? Can we get the run down the front stretch? All right, we are. Oh my goodness. I really thought I was gonna lose it to Bobby Labonte. It wasn't even between me and him. It was between me and Dale Jarrett, and we still almost lost it to Bobby Labonte. Okay, got it on attempt number two. That was nice. That was an easier one, I feel like, because we could use up the other cars. For that one, we got create a car wing. Don't know what that does, but that's what we ended up getting. <laughs> the Coca-Cola 600 is the longest Winston Cup race of the year. Your day's even longer if you run 500 miles in an Indy car first. I arrived at Charlotte after coming in 6th in the Indy 500 earlier that day. I'd qualified 12th for the 600, but since I got back to Charlotte so late, I had to start at the back of the pack. By the time the checkered flag flew, I was in 3rd place. At the end of the race, I had the fastest car on the track, and I just bet that I could have run 1106 miles instead of just 1100 that day. I would have won. Well, the folks at EA Sports are going to give you and me the chance. You get to take the wheel to the number 20 Home Depot Pontiac, and you get 4 more laps in the Coca-Cola 600. I guess that makes it the Coca-Cola 606. You've got Kevin Harvick half a second ahead of you and Jeff Burton 3.6 seconds ahead of him, just like we finished the real race. But this time, it ain't over yet. Four to go, and we're catching the leaders. Let's go win this thing. So we're taking over for Stewart uh, on an extra four laps, basically, in this race after he ran the Indy 500, and he came up short in this one. So we need to get by Kevin Harvick, who's just in front of us. And then we got to catch, who is that up there? I don't know who's all the way up there. Looks kind of like Jeff Burton's car from the Talladega one, the blue and white. We got Mark Martin right on our ass. Oh, geez, I'm overdriving it. Haven't really ran these tracks yet, but now we have Mark Martin getting to our inside. He is really fast, so we got a lot of things to worry about in this thing. trying to see where we can go with this thing. I'm just pushing tight. I was able to really hold the throttle there. Oh, geez, I'm all over the place. Pass through the grass. <laughs> we're about to go through the grass. I don't think we're gonna have time to catch Jeff Burton up there. Got to run on this. We're going to go down three wide on the bottom. Can we hold it? Getting in the Mark Martin there a little bit, but that's fine. All right, we have a lot of time. Not a lot of time, I should say. We have a lot of distance to make up on Jeff Burton up there. Yeah, he's the 99. Okay. We're 1.6, basically 1.7 back. I am losing it down the front stretch, hitting the wall. Okay, yeah, this one is going very poorly. Going down, trying to block Bobby Labonte. doesn't seem like we're going to get it in this one, but I want to see if I can hold these guys off or not and try and figure out something. Big braking on entry and then fully just get on the throttle for the rest of it. I stopped turning for a second. Oh, you can't leave the racing surface. Interesting. Okay. I didn't know that would fail me, honestly. I was like trying to save it down the uh, front stretch after hitting the wall. So that will reset you very quick if uh, you end up messing up. That's good to know. That is very good to know. All right. I need to get on the brakes early. And then just fully on throttle and continues turning. Oh, it got tight, like hitting the apron down there. That caught us up a ton to Kevin Harvick here. We might be able to get by him in this first corner. That was almost all the way off the track, I think. Overdrove it. Tried to get on the brakes to slow it up. But we're side by side with Harvick now. 
We're definitely quicker than him. I feel like we might be faster than Jeff Burton as well. Because say, he said that he had the fastest car on the track, so I imagine it would put us like that. Being a little dirty, slowing up Mark Martin a lot there. That was very useful. Okay, we got, what, three laps left here? 1.8 back. Let's see if we can catch old Jeff Burton up here. Really driving hard. Because this is a lot of distance to try to make up here. And we have all the room behind us, so getting into Kevin Harvick helped us out a ton there. Didn't really have to uh, deal with them anymore. Oh, don't hit the wall, don't hit the wall. I'm just praying and holding the throttle. That was lucky. How much did we catch in that one lap? Because we got two laps left. 1.6. We gained like two tenths there in that lap. That's not very good, but I really messed up three and four. I feel like we caught up a lot in one and two on the last one. I feel like we're catching up a lot in this one and two as well. Can we make it up in three and four? Because we're going to have one lap left after this. Stay low. I'm trying to get on throttle and staying low, and it just pushes up. We caught him a lot on that lap, so that's good to know. We, we can make up multiple tens. We're down to point nine. Oh, wow. We caught up like seven tenths on that lap. Okay. We'd have to have an even better lap here and pass him at the same time. What a one and two this is, though. Absolutely massive. What a run we have. I think we're going to be a little too far away, though, going through three and four. Trying to really send it, get down to the bottom. That actually worked out really well, but not going to be able to make it happen here. Come up just short of Jeff Burton, so we're going to have to go on to, what is it, attempt number three? All right, we found that you can go super hard in these corners, and if I mess up Kevin Harvick when he's in front of Mark Martin, I could slow them up a ton, which would really help us out. So I could really hold the throttle through these corners once I get it down to the bottom. I'm better in one and two than I am in three and four. It might just be the angle we take uh, going in there or something, like up higher. Trying not to run him over, but at the same time, I need to get by him very quickly. Don't leave the racing surface. That was super close. I guess you have to get your right sides all the way down there too, because that was about as close as I could get it. Dive bomb it down here. Gonna mess him up some, but he's not gonna be able to hold off Mark Martin, which is the problem. Mark Martin's very quick. Okay, three laps left. What do we have on it? 1.9. Okay, so we're like just under, I think, a tenth off of what we were on the last attempt at this point. But I gotta hold off Mark Martin now too, which is uh, worrisome, but that actually might help us down the straightaways if he gives us a little bit of a draft behind us. That honestly might help. But him getting on our inside is not gonna help at all. Okay, that's gonna slow him up. And I left the racing service. Dang it, messed that one up. You gotta be so focused the entire time and try and uh, hit it all correctly. But you know, I guess it makes sense that this is the uh, legend one. That it's four laps long. You can't just do like a one lap shootout on any track and make it happen. Oh, I thought I was leaving the racing surface there. That would have been dumb. Just doing it right away. All right, we need to get by Kevin Harvick quick. So I'm gonna try and use him up there and just keep on rolling from it. So hopefully he can hold off Mark Martin stuff. Did that really damage us? No, it did not damage us at all. So everything was still green, we're good. Let's try and get it down to the bottom and then full throttle. Oh, don't hit the wall, we're good. Kevin Harvick still not super slow behind us. We're at 1.6. Okay, so we're a couple tenths faster than our good attempt so far. Using up Kevin Harvick there in turn one helped us out a lot, it seems like. Being a couple tenths closer just in uh, with three laps left is big. So if we can just hold that bottom lane, we might have a decent shot at this on the last lap, potentially. Drifted up a little bit, but not too bad. We're fine. Let's not leave the racing surface. Let's not hit the wall more. That slowed us up a little bit, hitting the wall. 1.4, just about 1.5. So yeah, we're not doing great. We're still like a tenth ahead of our last like good attempt. But I really need to nail these last two laps here while we have people right on us too, which is rough. Because Kevin Harvick's keeping up with us very well. I thought he was just going to be falling back and Mark Martin would be the one we'd have to worry about more. That was a picture-perfect three and four. 
Kevin Harvick's going up, blocking Mark Martin. Very good, love to see it. That was a really good lap, but we're still a second off of him with one lap left, so. Our good attempt so far was nine tenths away going into that final lap, and we didn't get it done, so we had a second off, probably isn't gonna do it either. So, a little unfortunate. Definitely gonna take another attempt, but we're definitely learning some things that we could do. Bouncing off of Kevin Harvick to start with kind of got us a lot on that first time around. So we were only 1.6 away, but we need to uh, do a little bit better on the following laps to try and catch up to Jeff Burton. This one's being stubborn, but it is on legend for a reason. Like it's under the legend difficulty for a reason, so it makes sense. Let's not mess up this first corner. We already are going up top, hitting the wall. Okay, I'm just gonna reset because uh, that was a terrible first corner. What did the other two take? Like five attempts total, and I'm already on like attempt six or seven on this. I've already lost count, like in my head. In the recording, I should have what attempt we're on, but I've already lost count while doing it. That was an amazing turn one. I'm gonna be able to get under him on the straightaway, actually. Just need to stay low, get a good run through here. Like we had a good three and four on that, that first corner. So that was massive to uh, have. Mark Martin's nowhere close yet. Really need to keep it lower than that. Don't want to be running up the track. It might get us a little bit more speed down the straight, but not much. You lose more in the corner, I feel like. 1.5, just about 1.6, so that's not a terrible start. If I would have had a good three and four there, I think we would have been much closer. Like maybe like 1.4, something like that. But that felt like a good one and two. Visually, it looks like we're much closer. I need to find a better breaking point for three and four to uh, get down to the bottom. That was a perfect three and four right there. I think we might be about a second off of him with two laps left. We're very, very close here. Oh, point eight. Oh, geez, we're very close. Okay. We've got a shot at this one. Let's not screw it up, please. These are very tough to do, and I don't want to like take so many damn attempts on every single one, but they're they're tough. These legend ones are very tough. Even like the rookie one took me like three tries or so. Very good, three and four, keeping that white line. Be like half a second back here or closer. What are we at? What are we at? Point four. Let's go. Come on, we can make up point four in a lap. Let's not blow this. Let's not blow this. We can get under him here on the back stretch, maybe. Or it's gonna be very close going to the line. We got a huge draft. I'm gonna try and dive bomb a little bit. Get into him. Oh, we're moving him. Okay, that's one way of doing it. Just moving them <laughs> completely. I'll take that though. That These are tough. I was trying to dive bomb and actually get under him and move him up, but, you know, smashing the rear end of him and moving him up the track works just as well. For that one, we end up getting this all-pro creative car. I guess it's like a sponsor, maybe, I'm assuming. But if you guys want to see more of these, let me know. There's a bunch of them. Uh, I think there's actually more legend ones than there are rookie and veteran, because the rookies start here with Dale Jr., and then the next one uh, would be at Ricky Craven here. It ends at uh, Michael Waltrip. And then there's a few veteran ones up until Tony Stewart. So if you guys want to see more of them, let me know in the comments and uh, like the video so I know it'd be easy barometer to see who wants to see more of it and everything because they're very tough. And I like the challenge because the veteran or uh, the legend one was very difficult. It took us like seven, eight attempts, maybe something like that, four laps each. So that is very tough. I think even the rookie one, I got a little lucky on getting the draft at the right time and stuff like that because you get really jammed up and you get slowed up a lot. So we just had a really big run on the backstretch to clear them. So that was a little lucky, I feel like, too. But the Martinsville one was kind of easy because you can kind of just use up the other cars a little bit. But uh, I think they're going to be very tough and fun going ahead. So if you want to see more of those, let me know down in the comments. But I appreciate you guys for watching as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.